Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Abhishek Mukhopadhyay with the news at 9. The headlines. President Ramnath Kovin says the government has commenced its journey towards building a new India. Finance Minister Piyush Goyal to present the union budget in parliament tomorrow. BJP bags Jind Baipol in Haryana while Congress wins Rajasthan's Ramkar assembly seat a Delhi court sends Augusta Westland VVIP chopper case co accused Rajiv Saxena to four days enforcement directorate custody New Delhi asks Islamabad not to interfere in internal affairs of India sports minister Colonel Rajyawardhan Singh Rathore cautions athletes against doping says self confidence is the only drug they require and in cricket New Zealand beat India by 8 wickets in the 4th ODI at Hamilton. President Ramnath Kovind has said the government has commenced its journey towards building a new India. Addressing the joint sitting of both houses of parliament today, he said it is an India where every person has access to basic amenities, gets justice with dignity and is healthy, secure and educated. The president said it is an India where there are equal opportunities of advancement for everyone and where every daughter feels safe. He said it is an India which commands the respect of the entire world. The president said the government has taken numerous steps to ensure social and economic development in the last four and a half years. He said sanitation coverage under the Swachh Bharat Mission has reached 98 percent from less than 40 percent till 2014. Mr Kovin said improved sanitation coverage has led to better health of citizens especially the poor who are vulnerable to diseases such as malaria and diarrhea Mr Kovin informed that 13 crore households have been provided with free LPG connections he said in the last 4 months more than 10 lakh people have availed themselves of free medical treatment under the Ayushman Bharat program हमें इस बात से भली भांति परिचित है कि बीमारी के इलाज का खर्च किसी गरीब परिवार को और भी गरीब बनाता है इस पीड़ा को समझने वाली मेरी सरकार ने पिछले वर्ष आयुष्मान भारत योजना शुरू की सिर्फ चार महीने में ही इस योजना के तहत 10 लाख से ज्यादा गरीब अस्पताल में अपना इलाज करवा चुके मिस्टर कोविन रिएटरेटेड द गवर्नमेंट कमिटमेंट टू डबल फार्मर्स इनकम बाई ट्वेंटी He said they have been provided high quality seeds and better market access for the produce. He said crop insurance has been provided to farmers at low premium under the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana to safeguard them from potential crisis due to crop damage. The president said that under the Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana the maximum benefit has been availed by women. Out of the 15 crore mudra loans provided so far throughout the country 73% have been disbursed to women entrepreneurs. Under the Deen Dayal Antodaya Yojana, about 6 crore women have become members of self-help groups. On the country's economy, the president said it has been growing at a rate of 7.3% on an average for the last four and a half years. Mr. Kovind said with the implementation of a comprehensive tax reform like the GST, the concept of one nation, one tax, one market has been realized. He said a major campaign was launched against the menace of black money and new laws were enacted for sectors that thriving on black money mr kovind said demonetization struck at the very root of the parallel economy thriving on black money and the money he said assets worth over 50000 crore rupees have been confiscated under the benami property act prevention of money laundering act and the law against fugitive economic offenders mr kovind said the government has made a provision for capital punishment in case of heinous crimes like rape of minors He said the government is striving hard to get the triple talaq bill passed by the parliament to liberate muslim daughters from a life of fear and anxiety and to provide them with equal right to lead their lives at par with other daughters he said similarly grant of constitutional status to the other backward classes commission demonstrates the center's commitment towards social justice बीते शीतकालीन सत्र में संसद द्वारा संविधान का 103वां संशोधन पारित करके गरीबों को आरक्षण का लाभ पहुंचाने का ऐतिहासिक फैसला लिया यह पहल देश के उन गरीब युवक युवतियों के साथ न्याय करने का प्रयास है जो गरीबी के अभिशाप के कारण वंचित महसूस कर रहे थे The president described the constitution amendment to extend the benefit of reservation to the poor belonging to the general category as a historic decision. 
He made it clear that this new dispensation will not impact the existing reservation and the number of seats in educational institutions has been increased proportionately. Government today said it is ready for a constructive discussion on every issue of national importance during the budget session of Parliament. There was a consensus across party lines in the all-party meeting convened by the government on ensuring smooth functioning of the Parliament. Addressing floor leaders of parties in the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, Government's focus lies on issues of national importance and finding solutions to problems of the people. He said the country expects from all of us to perform duties as parliamentarians in a positive manner and we must deliver to the expectations of the people. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today urged all parliamentarians to ensure that the budget session is productive. He was speaking to media outside parliament on the first day of the budget session. Mr. Modi said the government is committed for Sabka Saat, Sabka Vikas. He added that the government is ready for discussion on any issue. I am happy to have all of our other nations in this generation of people who are aware of this budget. The government is aware of the importance of the budget, 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 and the importance of the budget. And we have all the work in this budget, the importance of the budget, the importance of the budget, the importance of the budget. Finance Mr. Pujgoel will present the budget in Parliament tomorrow. Our correspondent reports that the government is likely to announce several welfare measures for various sections of society. Industries bodies expect that the credit flow to industries will increase and corporate tax reduced. Talking to AIR News, General Secretary Asocham Uday Kumar Verma said, all industries bodies very logically and naturally expect the corporate income tax to come down and there is always a logic behind it. Presently, the uniform tax rate could be reduced to 25% and our view is that if the so many exceptions which are there in the tax structure, if they are removed, then I think effectively there will be no loss to government in terms of revenue. Chairman of Economic Affairs Council of CII, Vinayak Chatterjee, said he expects more announcements for addressing farm distress and budgetary provisions for social sector. Our correspondent also spoke to some of the common men about the expectations on the budget. PCB Sukarma, I want to say that there is a good budget for people. There is a budget that is more than a day. If there is a day, then the poor will be poor. I am a farm daily. I am a farm daily. टैक्स से जो अभी बजट आएगा उससे सबसे बड़ी एक्सपेक्टेशन हमारी कर्मचारियों की यही है कि टैक्स के रेट कम किए जाने चाहिए और और इसके साथ साथ ही किसानों के लिए कुछ बड़ा ऐलान हो क्योंकि पहले सरकार ने एमएसपी तो बढ़ाई थी लेकिन फिर भी हम ये चाहते हैं कि किसानों की एमएसपी और ज्यादा होनी चाहिए होम लोन पे दो लाख की छूट मिल रही है इंटरेस्ट पे वो छूट को भी और बढ़ाया जाना चाहिए मेरा नाम अजीत वाला है देखिए हम लोग चाहते हैं कि भी लेडीज के लिए अच्छे से अच्छा मतलब कि चीजें प्रोवाइड करें और रेट भी चीप एंड बेस्ट हो बहन हूँ गौरव पांडे आम आदमी यू ही परेशान है उसकी खाली एजुकेशन और मेडिकल फ्री हो जाए तो गवर्नमेंट की सारी चीजें सारी प्रॉब्लम परेशानियाँ एट्टी दूर हो जाएंगी एजुकेशन मेडिकल फ्री करने ऊपर कुछ ध्यान देना News Services Division of All India Radio will bring you special live day-long programs on the budget 2019-2020 tomorrow. In-depth analysis of the budget by experts, special budget bulletins and people's reaction on the budget will be the major highlights. This program will be available on FM Gold Channel and other frequencies and on all social media platforms of News Services Division of All India Radio, that is AIR News Alerts on Twitter and Facebook and on News on AIR official YouTube channel and on our website www.newsonair.com tomorrow. News Services Division of All India Radio will broadcast pre-union budget to discussion including railways tomorrow from 10-10 hours to 10-55 hours on its Rajdhani channel and FM Rainbow channel. The discussion will be followed by the live broadcast of the presentation of the general budget including railways by the Finance Minister Piyush Goel in the Lok Sabha from 10-55 hours. Special budget bulletin of 15 minutes each in Hindi from 12.30 to 12.45 and in English from 12.45 to 1300 hours will be broadcast on the national hookup. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. Papa, we will get a new house for our new house. 
क्या क्या चाहिए हमारी बेटी रानी को हॉल में रखने के लिए टेलीविजन अच्छा और मम्मी के लिए किचन का सामान और 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 पापा घर के अंदर एक टॉयलेट हमको टॉयलेट के लिए बाहर ना जाना पड़े जरूर बेटी अच्छा और बताओ रानी बेटी को अपने लिए क्या क्या चाहिए मेरे लिए एक स्टडी टेबल चेयर और किताबें रखने के लिए एक अलमारी हाँ हमारी बेटी पढ़ लिख कर बड़ी अफसर बनेगी क्यों रानी को झूठे सपने दिखा रहे हो अरे ये सच है ये देखो हमारा लेटर प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना शहरी स्कीम के अंतर्गत अब हमारे पक्के घर का अधूरा सपना होगा पूरा सच जी हाँ अब सबके सपने हो रहे हैं पूरे प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना शहरी स्कीम के अंतर्गत मिलने वाले घरों ऐसी लाखों लोगो ने अपने घर का सपना किया है पूरा अधिक जानकारी के लिए अपने स्थानीय शहरी निकाय ऐसी संपर्क करें हाउसिंग फॉर ऑल सबके लिए घर ये हमारा सपना भी है और संकल्प भी है वायु प्रदूषण की वजह से आज हम जिस हवा में सांस ले रहे हैं वो दिन प्रतिदिन जानलेवा होती जा रही है अस्थमा जैसी बीमारियां बढ़ रही हैं। इस स्थिति को रोकने के लिए हमें आपका डोनेशन चाहिए डोनेशन देने के लिए रेड लाइट पर अपनी कार बंद कर दे आपका ये छोटा सा डोनेशन है पर्यावरण में बड़ा योगदान और यही है आपका ग्रीन गुड डीड ग्रीन गुड डीड्स मतलब कुछ हरे भरे काम अपनी धरती के नाम पर्यावरण वन एवं जलवायु परिवर्तन मंत्रालय द्वारा पर्यावरण हित में जारी जब भारतीय जनता पार्टी वन द जिंद बाइपोल इलेक्शन इन हरियाणा बीजेपी कैंडिडेट कृष्ण मिड्डा डिफीटेड नियरेस्ट राइवल दिग्विजय चौटाला ऑफ द जन नायक जनता पार्टी जे जे पी पर नियरली थर्टीन थाउजेंड वोट्स Our correspondent reports that the bypoll was necessitated following the death of Midda's father, INLD MLA Hari Chand Midda. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has thanked the people of Jind for voting for the BJP. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said, "This is a seat where the party has never won before." In Rajasthan, Congress candidate Shafia Jubair won the Ramgarh Assembly seat by defeating a nearest rival of BJP, Sukhwan Singh, with a margin of over 12,000 votes. A Delhi court today sent Dubai-based businessman Rajiv Saxena, the co-accused in the 3,600 crore rupees Augusta Westland VVIP chopper case, to four-day enforcement directorate ED custody. The court also sent corporate lobbyist Deepak Talwar to a seven-day ED custody in a money laundering case. Saxena, along with Talwar, was extradited to India from United Arab Emirates early today in two separate corruption cases. India today asked Pakistan not to interfere in India's internal affairs reacting to the telephonic conversation between foreign minister of Pakistan Shah Mehmood Qureshi and separatist Mirwais Umar Farooq external affairs ministry spokesperson Ravish Kumar said behavior of Pakistani foreign minister is condemnable Mr Kumar said it is high time for Pakistan to take action against terrorism but unfortunately the neighboring country is doing nothing Union Sports Minister Colonel Rajawardhan Singh Rathore today cautioned the young athletes against doping. Addressing a function at the National Conference on Anti-Doping in New Delhi, the minister said self-confidence is the only drug they require. In cricket, New Zealand defeated India by 8 wickets in the fourth and penultimate ODI at Hamilton today. Put into bat, India were bundled out for 92. The five-match series was already out of the grasp of New Zealand after India won the first three games. the last match of the series will be played on sunday in wellington the defense acquisition council dac chaired by defense minister nirmala sitaraman to the approved indigenous construction of six submarines worth 40000 crore rupees in a tweet the defense ministry said it is the second project under the ministry's ambitious strategic partnership model aiming to boost government's make in india program and now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again President Ramnath Kovin says the government has commenced its journey towards building a new India. Finance Minister Piyush Goyal to present the union budget in parliament tomorrow. BJP bags Jind Bypol in Haryana while Congress wins Rajasthan's Ramgarh assembly seat. A Delhi court sends Augusta Westland VVIP chopper case co-accused Rajiv Saxena to four days enforcement directorate custody. New Delhi asks Islamabad not to interfere in, in internal affairs of India. Sports Minister Colonel Rajawardhan Singh Rathore cautions athletes against doping says self confidence is the only drug they require and in cricket New Zealand beat India by 8 wickets in the fourth ODI at Hamilton and for details of these stories and more log on to our website www.newsonair.nic.in and that is all in the news at 9 good night